Take a break from your busy schedule and join Harold Sala for Guidelines, a five-minute commentary on living. Joe Stoll calls it the ragged edge of reality. That's the place you want to avoid if at all possible. The realization that your life is out of control. And what bothers you more than anything else is that you don't know what to do about it. When it seemed that the ragged edge of reality was closing in on the psalmist, he wrote, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble, adding, Therefore we will not fear. Though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging strength, What he described is big trouble. Mountains quaking and cascading into the sea, probably the result of an earthquake. That's pretty graphic. But the impact is no less than hearing a doctor say, I'm sorry, we've done everything we know to do to save your little boy. Or hearing the one you expected to grow old with say, I don't love you, never have, and I'm tired of pretending I want out of this marriage. The ragged edge of reality is devastating, painfully devastating. I probably don't have to describe it. You know what it is. You've been there. But what you may need is encouragement in letting the Lord be your strength and help in difficult times. I'm not going to turn to God now, a man once told me. I wasn't religious before this problem, and I don't want him to have to bail me out now. Possibly, he hadn't gotten to the cutting edge of reality, not just yet. When there is an avalanche, you don't waste time putting wax on your skis, or you don't stop to pick the daisies when the floodwaters are rising. You sense danger and you move, you act. Nobody straightens pictures in a burning building. Survivors of shipwrecks never get concerned with fashion and clothes when they are floundering in deep waters. They will grasp anything that will keep them afloat, right? Okay, where do we go from here? What I'm about to say may sound hard, yet it's true. Sometimes a loving God allows us to face the ragged edge of reality so we stop playing defense games with Him and we get desperate enough to really let Him help us. As long as we have anything to hold on to, We refuse being rescued. It's when you understand that you're finished unless you get God's help that you realize you've left Him out of your life, and then you let Him do what only He can do. Self-reliance may be an admirable trait, but when it comes to the ragged edge of reality, there are things which only God can and will do. The psalmist said, For in the day of trouble He will keep me safe in His dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his tabernacle and set me high upon a rock. When his world was coming apart because of war and strife, Nahum wrote, The Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble. He cares for those who trust in him. For sixty seconds, think about those words. First he says, The Lord is good. Can you accept that? Why didn't God stop this? Possibly he allowed it, much as a lifeguard will let someone struggling in the surf exhaust himself so he can rescue him. Because God is a good God and a help in the time of trouble, you can reach out for that help. Friend, when the ragged edge of reality has you in its vicious grasp, run to the rock and lay hold of God. When you search for him with all your heart, you'll find him, and when you do, The ragged edge of reality will have become your friend. Are you on the ragged edge of reality right now? Your world is coming apart. It seems like it's out of control. You're not sure what to do. Man's extremity is God's opportunity. Trust him, friend. And then I'd like to hear from you too. You can send an email to Guidelines at this email address, guidelines at guidelines.org. 